Hi, Mr. Richards here. This lesson is on solving multi-step equations. And our first example starts us off with a two-step equation. 2q plus 11 equals 3. Our goal here is to solve for the variable q. So the first thing we're going to move is the 11. And the opposite of plus 11 is minus 11. So we're going to subtract 11 from both sides. And we're left with 2q equals negative 8, as 3 minus 11 is negative 8. Next, in order to get the q alone, we need to get rid of the 2. And so if we divide by 2 on both sides, we're left with q equals negative 4. Now we do need to check our solution. And so, if we start off with the original equation, 2q plus 11 equals 3, we can substitute in our answer for q. 2 times negative 4 plus 11 needs to equal 3. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 plus 11 needs to equal 3. And negative 8 plus 11 is 3. So 3 equals 3. So we are checked and good to go. What about an equation that looks like this? k plus 9 divided by 12 equals negative 2. The first thing we're actually going to do here is to take care of this division by 12. We're going to multiply by that 12 on both sides. Because in a way, this kind of just cancels out. And we're left with k plus 9 equals whatever negative 2 times 12 is. Well, that's negative 24. And if I subtract the 9 from both sides of the equation next, k is going to equal negative 33. When I substitute that back in for my check into the original k plus 9 divided by 12 needing to equal negative 2, negative 33 plus 9 divided by 12 needs to equal negative 2. Negative 33 plus 9 is negative 24. Divided by 12 needs to equal negative 2. And sure enough, negative 24 divided by 12 is negative 2. So negative 2 equals negative 2, so we're checked and good to go. k equals negative 33. Susan had a $10 coupon for the purchase of any item. She bought a coat that was on sale for one half its original price. After using the coupon, Susan paid $125 for the coat before taxes. What was the original price of the coat? Write an equation for the problem, then solve the equation. We're trying to find the original price. We know that she paid half of the original price and then used the coupon for $10. So what we can say for this equation is one half the original price, P, minus the $10 coupon was equal to the $125 that she paid. So half the original price minus the $10 coupon equals the price of a $125 that she paid. And now we get to solve this. Add 10 to both sides. We're left with 1 half P equals 135. And with this fraction, if we multiply by the reciprocal, which is just 2 over 1 or 2, P is going to equal 270. So the original price was $270. This next key concept kind of answers that question of, you know you're in algebra when... Solve consecutive integer problems. Consecutive integers are integers in counting order, such as 4, 5, 6, okay? Or 
if you start with n, n, n plus 1, n plus 2. Counting by 2 will result in consecutive even integers if the starting integer is even, and consecutive odd integers if the starting integer is odd. So, as you can see for consecutive integers here, integers that come in counting order such as negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, but in symbols this is n, n plus 1, n plus 2. Consecutive even integers, even integer followed by the next even integer, very similar to consecutive odd integers of odd integer followed by the next odd integer with our symbols. The key is what your n is starting as. If it starts even, we're going to stay even. If it starts odd, we're going to stay odd. Number theory is the study of numbers and the relationships between them. Write an equation for the following problem, then solve the equation and answer the problem. Find three consecutive odd integers with the sum of 57. Well, before we get into this number theory business here and this rule, I want to take a second to explain why this rule works and what this rule means. Let's think of three easy consecutive odd integers, such as 1, 3, and 5. Now, those add up to be a sum of 9, so that's clearly not our answer, and we're not going to guess and check here all the way up to 57 because we need to write an equation and solve it. Now, what if I replaced this 1 with an n? How did we get from 1 to 3? Well, we add 2. So to get from n to our next odd integer, we're going to stay n plus 2. Now, to get from 1 to 5, we add 4. So we need to get from n to the 1 down here is going to be n plus 4. So our first odd number is n. The next one's going to be n plus 2, followed by n plus 4, and that will work every time. Now we're looking for a sum of 57. And so if we were to write this as an equation, n plus n plus 2 plus n plus 4, and set that equal to 57, we have now written the equation that we can solve. How are we going to solve this is the next piece. Combine like terms on the left side of the equation. We have an n another n, and another n. So I have n plus n plus n. I also have this plus 2 and plus 4, so I'm going to have plus 2 plus 4, and these are all going to be equal to 57. Well, n plus n plus n, there's three n's there, so 3n plus 2 plus 4 is 6. That's going to equal 57. And all of a sudden, we have a two-step equation that we need to solve. So, if we subtract 6 from both sides, we're left with 3n equals 51. And when we divide by 3, on both sides, n is going to equal 17. Now we're not done yet. Our n is equal to 17. That's just the first odd integer. And so our answer for this is actually going to be 17 followed by the next two odd integers, 19 and 21. And if you really wanted to check this, Take a peek over here on the left. If we put n in for 17, or 17 in for n, the next odd integer, n plus 2, is 19, followed by the next odd integer, 17 plus 4, is 21. And if you add those up, 7 plus 9 plus 1 is 17. 1 plus 1 
plus 1 plus 2 is 57. So three consecutive odd integers that add up to 57 are 17, 19, and 21. And you can use the rules on the previous page, such as consecutive even integers, it's actually going to be very similar with the n plus n plus 2 plus n plus 4 for consecutive even integers as well. If it's just consecutive integers, it's just the n, n plus 1, n plus 2, since we're not skip counting. That is it for this lesson on solving multi-step equations. Good luck!